Today we are back in District 17, right along Floral Road and we are going to bring you up to this 3 bedroom unit standing at 1,335 square feet. Top floor coupled with a very good high ceiling, great quiet facing with huge living and room sizes. Great for family owned stay. Investors, do stay tuned as well as this unit potentially allows you to go up to a rental yield of 4.3%. Triple 9 years in nature with less than asking PSF of $1,200. This is Azealia Park, let's go. Welcome to Azilla Park. So right now we are standing at one of the three bedroom unit at Azilla Park. Azilla Park is TOP in 1996 with a tenure of 999 years. So right here, this project has a total units of 316 units spread across six towers of both eight and nine stories towers. So developed by Hong Leong with a good unit mix of two, three, three plus one and four bedroom type of units. As Azilla Park is one of the first mover into the flora and cliff, this allows us to have two major benefits. One of the benefits is the unit type mix that we have right here in Azealia Park and the next benefit that we have right here will be the size of this particular tree bedroom. Pulling out the floor plan, you immediately notice that this particular layout is different from the typical three bedroom layout you have nowadays. Stepping right through the main door, you'll be greeted by your welcome foyer followed by this huge living room. And right beside the living room will be this spacious dining area and right beside it will be the master plus ensuite followed by two common bedrooms and one common bathroom. For the kitchen, yard, store and WC is actually nicely tucked at this particular corner. And next up, let's talk about where Azealia Park is located at. Azealia Park is located in District 17, bounded by Loyang Avenue and also Flora Road. Within 4 minutes, you'll be able to reach the bus stop along Loyang Avenue and this particular bus stop will bring you to places like CBD, Tampines MRT, Pasiris MRT and the rest of Singapore. And with the upcoming Cross Island Line, Loyang MRT is actually stipulated to complete in 2013 and this will be within 2 bus stops away from where you are right now. And for drivers, you'll be pleased to know that we are only 3-5 to five minutes to drive away to PIE for both directions and also into TPE. For shopping and amenities, we have Loyang Point Shopping Mall and alternatively, you can actually head down to Jewel at Changi Airport, the various malls at Tampines as well as White Sands Shopping Mall at Pasir Ris, all within 10 minutes drive. For primary school, within 1km, we have East Spring Primary School and also White Sands Primary School. And schools within 1-2km, to two kilometer, we have Kasarina, Chongzheng, Gongshang, Pasir Ris, Tampines North and also Yuming Primary School. Stepping right into the living room, you notice that this living room is particularly huge. With a span of 6.8 meter by 3.5 meter and a ceiling height of 4 odd meter, this opens up the whole space and allows you to enjoy this particular huge space for your family. And what our owner has done right here in this particular living room is that they have placed a sofa right in front of the divider cabinet that they have already installed and TV console is right at a 5 meter span. So we have a great viewing distance. And alternatively, if you don't need such a huge living space, you can potentially change this particular space into a living room whereby your TV console is over there and your sofa is right over here. This will allow you to have a 4 meter type of viewing distance and you can transform this particular area into more cabinetry storages or you can actually utilize this as a dining room and use your dining space as more storages. So right here at this corner, this will be the dining space whereby it has already been fitted with a six-seater type of dining table. If you prefer, you can actually use those type of extendable type of dining table. You can actually extend it to an eight-seater. So after checking out the dining area, let's head into the kitchen. What we have right here is actually a U-shaped type of countertop setup with cabinetries right below it. And there are other cabinetries right beside this with a built-in oven, gas stove and also a cooker hood. And what is so great about this particular kitchen will be these four panels of windows that brings about a lot of light into the house.
and stepping right beside the kitchen, this will be the yard area whereby you do your laundry with a washing machine set up already done up right here. And right behind me, this will be the WC. What is so interesting about this particular layout, as mentioned before, will be this particular storeroom that we have right here. They can store a lot of storages with shelves already done up. And right opposite the store, you have this utility space which is very interesting for this type of layout. And what you can potentially do for this utility room, you can actually use this particular utility room into a space for your stain helper. You can actually also seal off this particular door, open the door from the living room side and convert this area into a study room or a work office. And what is so good about this particular three bedroom layout is that we have a second entrance. And with this second entrance, this actually allows you to have direct access to your kitchen directly with all your wet groceries. So pulling out the side plan analysis, you will notice that this particular project has typically three tower facings. One facing will be the internal facing facing the pool, the other facing will be facing Loyang Avenue, and the last facing will be facing Carissa Park. For ours, which is standing at Tower 14, we actually have a split view between Carissa Park and also Flora Road. And being at this particular corner of this project, this actually allows us to be the one of the quietest stack among the rest of the towers. <music> So walking through the dining room and this small little corridor right here, you'll find these two common bedrooms. So once you enter the common bedroom, you'll immediately notice that this room is set up with this very Japanese type of theme. So with this platform bed already installed, it actually allows you to store in a lot of different items. On top of that, there's also multi-functional area. You can actually pull up this hatch and transform this particular area into a sitting zone for you to enjoy your TV moment. Right now at this space, it's also fitted with these five panels of hinge type of wardrobe. If you don't like this particular Japanese type of design, what you can potentially do is actually remove this particular platform, change this whole space into the sleeping area. This whole space is huge enough for you to fit in a king size bed with two big side tables. And on top of that, what we can suggest for you is to actually put in your study table right here. So if these three panels of windows, it actually allows a lot of light to shine into the room. As we are in the southeast direction, there's a little bit of morning sun, but there's no west sun. So this particular area is perfect for your kids to actually have their study area being done over here without any worry for their lighting. So after the first common bedroom, let's check out the common bathroom. So WC Basin Mirror has already been installed with two big ventilation windows. Shower area is also nicely tucked at one corner. For the second common bedroom, it will be typically the same layout as the first common bedroom, just that it's smaller in size due to the nuke for the wardrobe space as per the first common bedroom. So what you can potentially do right here is actually to install your wardrobe space right here so that you have a smaller wardrobe space but at the same time you can utilize this space for your bed. So this sleeping area you can actually install up to a queen size bed or even a king size. If you prefer more space for your study area or a entertainment area for your children. You can actually install a single bed and you can utilize this space as a study area or an entertainment area for a gaming station. And with these three big panels of windows right behind me facing a southeast direction, you will be ensured that this room will also be very very well lit. Before we move to the pricing analysis of Azealia Park, let's share a little bit of fun fact about the projects within Flora and Clay. For the project names, it is actually named in an alphabetical order in terms of their build year. We will be sharing all the pricing of different type of projects by alphabetical order. For projects before 2010, projects like Belota Park TOP 2000, Carissa Park TOP in 2003, Dahlia Park TOP in 2004, Edelweiss Park Condominium TOP in 2006, all freehold in nature. And due to the different location of these projects and build year, we will also notice a difference in size of their three bedroom units and the asking PSF. And due to the location, we can observe that Belota Park actually is the only project with a three bedroom units with an asking PSF of below $1,100. Ranging from 1055 PSF to 1189 PSF. And the rest of the projects typically range from 1100 to the highest of 1300 odd PSF. And next, for freehold projects that are built in the 2010 to 2020 period, projects like Ferrera Park TOP 2010, The Gill TOP 2014, 
asking PSF here will be standing above 1002 to 1005 and for size between 1001 odd and 1002 odd square feet type of layout. Asking price will be similar to ours due to the asking PSF standing between 1.5 to 1.6 million dollars. And the last two field project that is north of Flora Road, not following the naming system, will then be a Villa Gardens and Estella Gardens TOP in 1999 with a rather similar age as ours. Asking PSF price here will be standing at 1100 odd as well. Price quantum will be then standing at 1.5 million with size ranging from 1002 odd to 1324 square feet. So after checking out the freehold projects, let's take a look at the newer 99 year leasehold project. We will notice that after G, which is the guild, any name of the project that starts after G, it will be 99 years in nature. And this 99 year leasehold project will be typically TOP in 2015 to 2022. Projects like Hedges Park, the Inflora and the Jovel, we have two standalone projects like Palm Owls and Park Olympia that does not follow the naming system. These two projects both TOP in 2015. Available unit size here will be standing below 1,200 square feet ranging from 818 to 1,163 square feet. Asking PSF for projects that TOP in 2015 with a 99-year leasehold will be asking starting from $1,151 to $1,348. Three bedroom size here will generally be from 900 square feet for the Jovel and 1,033 square feet for the Inflora. With asking PSF slightly below 1,300 PSF for the Inflora and the Jovel will be having asking PSF of above $1,000. $1,700. And due to their size, price quantum is still similar to ours, standing at $1.55 million for the Jovel. So in conclusion, with the extensive pricing analysis we done right here for the Freehold and 99 years project within Flora and Cliff, we will notice that at Azealia Park, this three-bedroom unit, high ceiling, top floor, at standing at 1335 square feet actually falls into our trifactor criteria. With a size of above 1,300 square feet, PSF less than 1,200 PSF, and with an asking quantum of $1.5 million. This actually is a very very safe entry price for you to enter into the Flora and Cliff. For a standalone three bedroom unit standing at 1335 square feet, it actually allows you to fetch up to $4,200 a month in rental if you were to rent out the whole unit itself. And as the size is 1335 square feet with fully utilizable space, for investor you can actually craft out two more bedrooms that allows you to rent out the room individually to increase your rental per month. So what we can suggest for you right here will be is you can actually craft out one more bedroom right here. So this room allows you to change this into a fourth bedroom with the dining area, communal area being right in front of the welcome foyer and also convert this particular L shape into a open kitchenette. So this allows you to have open kitchen for your tenants and also a communal dining area for your tenants as well. And alternatively, if you don't want this space to be your kitchenette, you can actually transform the utility room into a small kitchenette as well. And to further increase your rental, you can actually craft out a fifth bedroom where the kitchen is standing right now. Assuming conservatively with an average of $1,100 for the common bedroom and also the space of the living room and $1,500 for the master bedroom and on top of these four rooms, if you were to convert the kitchen into a smaller room and utility room or the dining area into a kitchenette, this can potentially fetch us up to a $1,000 type of rental for the kitchen area. This will mean that we can potentially fetch a rental of up to $5,800 and potentially equate to a rental yield of 4.3%. And if you were to assume a 75% loan of 1.55 million quantum. Monthly mortgage would then be standing at around $5,022 at 3.2% interest rate. And what this will mean for us is that we will be having a potential of around $800 positive gross cash flow, not including the MCST fees and property tax. This will eventually give us get into the positive cash flow type of game. For investors that are interested in the rental yield type of game, this unit is definitely something that you may be interested in to allow you to maximize your rental returns. So stepping into the master room, you would immediately notice that this room is actually designed in the same way as the first common room. With this platform bed right here, tons of storage below, and right now our owner has already fitted up with a queen size bed. And one of the interesting functions of this platform bed is that you can actually remove this particular latch and transform it into a tea set that allows you to sit within it and also do your reading. And moving on, we'll notice that this particular master room has two panels of windows from both sides, which is one is from the northwest direction and the other from southeast direction.
And lastly, let's check out the master ensuite. The master ensuite has an attached bathtub with shower fittings, basin, mirror, and WC already done up with two ventilation windows right here for you to get rid of all your humidity. Thank you for staying throughout this home tour. To recap, this is a three bedroom unit standing at 1,335 square feet with fully utilizable space. If you are someone that is looking for a family owned state type of property with an asking quantum that is less than 1.6 million, asking PSF less than $1,200, this might be potentially the one for you. And for potential investors that is looking for something that can potentially craft out a fourth and fifth bedroom to maximize your rental returns, this is something that you might want to check out as well. So if you are interested in this unit, do give our listing manages a call. Thank you for staying throughout this home tour. Do remember to like and subscribe our Property Lean Brothers YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Seng Huat, Property Lean Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Before we... Before we... <laughs> before, before... Utility room. Utility room. Utility room. Okay. And what is so unique about this particular layer? Particular. Uh, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. <laughs>